is uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable. This is, I guess, something I have to address. Um, I'm just gonna be real with you. I'm not good with change, but there's been a lot of changes made and uh, I think we just need to address it in a full video because I've had a lot of comments. I've even had some people accuse me of things that I take very seriously. And so we'll address the obvious. And I also need to style my hair, so we'll get into it. But if you don't know me, hello. I put this as a barrier in between my towel and my hair because I didn't actually want the towel to dry my hair. I just, I just wanted a towel on my head because it helped to hold the hair away from my face so it wasn't dripping on me while I did my makeup. But it's still nice and wet, thanks to this. So we're ready for styling. If you don't know who I am, I'm Mel. I'm a professional hairstylist and I've been creating videos on this channel for approximately five years. And 700,000 subscribers ago, my hair was much different. If you look at it side by side, my curls used to be tighter, they looked curlier, and yet my hair was bleached and, I mean, therefore damaged, right? So why is my curl pattern loosened? Is it actually because the methods I have been using for years and years are actually damaging and have finally caught up to me, as some of you are insinuating? Or am I just a human now rocking my natural hair color who also happens to be a woman in her mid to late 20s? That's an important note. There's actually a few factors that have led me to where I am today, and maybe you, maybe you've noticed that your curl pattern isn't quite the same. And I'd like to share why to hopefully give you a peace of mind. Now before my hair dries, let's just get into it. BRB, as I also announced something very exciting. This video has been brought to you by the Mains by Mel team, launching mainsbymel.com the one-stop blog spot to search and destroy. I mean search and find all the answers to your questions in one convenient place. Just take a look through the blog, and if you're considering buying a product but you're not sure if it's gonna work for you, check out Mel's who, what, when, where, and why on the products she uses most. You can find Mel's discount codes, video tutorials, and know when there is a new event and launch coming if you sign up for the newsletter. You'll also be automatically entered into a draw for a monthly giveaway. So what do you say? Head over to mainsbymel.com today. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god! We have been working on this for so long. That is exciting. All right, thanks for that team. That was a really exciting announcement that we're hard launching. Of course, I'll put the link to our website in the description box below so you can go and check it out there as well as whatever products I'm gonna use. As you'll see, the products I'm using are different from what I was using at the beginning of the channel. That's part of why we are here. So let's back up for a second. The thing that's most jarring for people looking at my hair today versus five years ago is that my hair used to be super bleached but it looked more curly as opposed to now where I'm almost my natural hair color and the curls are looser. That's not something that we're used to seeing. This is bleached hair completely destroying a curl pattern. The bright side to texture changes from hair damage is that it should grow out, it can be cut off, and hopefully the hair that you have growing in is the same. But it's not going to be necessarily because we have to consider true texture changes to the hair that is growing out is caused at the root so let's get into the root cause i am just going to start applying my styling product and that's one thing i don't use creams like i used to bleached hair is high porosity it needs a good cream to kind of lock lock everything down lock it in smooth it but now that my hair is i mean don't get me wrong it's not low porosity but it's not bleached Medium porosity, I got an intact cuticle. Creams for me aren't necessary. I can actually just go in with a styling foam, curl foaming gel on its own. So I'm gonna start applying that. And just to make things a little bit more interesting, I am gonna apply like I was at the very beginning of this channel. That means I'm not gonna be doing my ribbon curl styling with a brush. There's gonna be no brush styling. I'm just going to be brushing through the product to make sure it's distributed, and then just styling with my fingers, keeping it really natural so you can see what my curl pattern looks like without being manipulated. But let me tell you, while my hair was bleached, I was most definitely manipulating it. I was finger coiling every single wash day my entire head for 45 minutes because I wanted my curls to look perfect because they most certainly were not perfect. 
So now that that's distributed, let's get to the root cause of it. What actually causes texture changes? Well, the biggest role that determines the shape of your curl is the shape of your hair's follicle. Now this can be determined due to genetics, but this can also get changed with age and hormones. Stress, health, and diet are all things that can affect your skin and your hair, which I am sectioning into uh, three sections. By the way, we've got the underneath, and then we'll do the midsection, and then the top. So if you kind of feel like one day you woke up and your hair just wasn't quite the same, or maybe you cut off a significant amount of length and it's just not quite cooperating, it's not because of anything we're doing, but what's going on inside, inside of here. Are you in there? But yeah, this is not something that you can necessarily stop. It's just one of the side effects that can happen when you go through a big bodily change. Now this is where we might want to start changing the types of products that we use on our hair. I'm sure we've all heard the notion that your hair gets used to products and so you need to switch them up so they're not immune to them anymore. But that is not the case. It's just when our hair changes, we need to adapt our routines. Brush up when styling. Now just for a second, let's go back to hormones. For those of you that are curious as to which hormones do have an effect on the hair's health and the hair's growth cycle, the three major hormones are gonadotropins, these are the pituitary gland hormones or the sex hormones. There's those. And in the same bed, there's also androgen hormones. Then there's thyroid hormones, which if you are lacking, could result in hair loss and hypothyroidism. But the hormone that has the most direct effect on the hair are your androgens. These are the male sex hormone that everyone produces that has an effect on male and female pattern baldness. If your hair has stopped growing or it's growing differently or it's falling out, it's likely going to be a hormonal issue that you'll want to look at. But that doesn't necessarily mean your texture will change. So those are some of the reasons why curl patterns change in general, but what happened to me? I don't really know, my doctor said I'm healthy. He said I could lose a couple pounds, but I, I'm healthy. The biggest change that happened for me is I stopped using bleach. The thing with fine hair, which I have, is it is built with a lot of moisture, but not a lot of protein. Fine hair naturally lacks as much protein as coarse hair, which means it can be a lot more fragile, but even just a small amount of moisture can overdo it for me. Now what happens when you start bleaching, if you do it really slowly, not to denature the protein too much, it will make the hair drier, but this will also affect the bonds in your hair. When I had bleached my hair, I was using a lot more products with proteins. Now that my hair is healthier, I don't need to use protein as often in my routine. And this is the tea, are you ready? Bleach when used properly, and I mean with a very gentle formula, and using Olaplex. And see, Olaplex helps to multiply the disulfide bonds in your hair, but what's gonna increase the curl? What's gonna kind of tighten the curl? You notice it when you're in humidity. It's moisture. Bleach hair becomes extremely high porosity, which means it's going to be super sensitive to moisture in the air around it. More moisture will be drawn to your hair and that will increase the amount of hydrogen bonds, which is going to increase the amount of folds in your curl pattern. It's the same curl pattern, but it can appear tighter because there's more hydrogen bonds forming because there's more moisture that is being welcomed into the hair. Now that is actually not quite a fact. Let me explain. I have been studying this and trying to understand why hair, when it is bleached, can become even more curly I know that it swells and can fatten up the strands, which means that your hair is really fine and thin. Your hair can feel a little bit thicker after bleaching. But when it comes to the hair actually getting more curly, I just assume that there's more hydrogen bonds forming in the hair. So what does this mean for me? Well, let me just finish up this last section here. Okay, I mean, yeah, what do you think? Do you think I need bleach? <laughs> There is actually another way that I can re-enhance my curl pattern without the use of bleach. That will do the same thing for me. It will help to increase the amount of hydrogen bonds in the hair without having to use bleach or change the color that, you know, I've really been rocking. I've really been feeling it. I know a lot of you miss the blonde on me, but this is real. This is me. I'm exactly how I'm supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do 
is get salty. We're gonna use a salt spray. Specifically, this is a curl enhancing spray that has magnesium sulfate. By spraying this on top of my hair, which I'll only do on one side, okay? We're gonna make things interesting, like so. The salt sitting on top of my hair is gonna draw moisture to the cuticle and increase hydrogen bonds and make it curlier, which will help spring up the curl. Now for the rest of my routine, I'm gonna keep things the same so we'll be able to evaluate if there is a change. This wind though. Has my hair really changed that much? Let's see. So if my hypothesis is correct, the side that I have sprayed with magnesium sulfate should get nice, coily, ringlety like it used to be. Let's see, I'm gonna do the rest of my routine. That way we can see if my hair really has been changing, which again, is completely normal. It's a very, very normal thing. As humans, we are constantly evolving. And if we take a look at the curls, the biggest thing that you will see is that there is more clumping. The curls have just gotten a lot chunkier in my later years. They look fuller. They look more healthy. They look more cohesive. One thing I've always had is a different texture around my face. These curls are always a little bit bigger and these hairs took such a beating when I was using bleach. But these days, they will pretty much curl really well on their own. They just also want to clump all together. This will even happen if I go in with techniques that involve more separating. Like in this week's YouTube short, I did the up forward styling method. So I used the comb on my curl clumps and they were still, they were still bunching up. It's not a bad thing. It's, it can just be sometimes slightly annoying. The other thing is, although I did not need to add a cream to my hair, Sometimes I actually need to add a texture spray, which the curl trigger on this side kind of already helped with that, but sometimes I need that for a little extra grit and hold in my hair because it's so soft, it doesn't hold the style as well. And if you know, you know I really like the Living Proof Dry Volume and Texture Spray. This helps to make the hair a little more gritty. So a foam, salt sprays and texture sprays. These are just some of the products that I'm using more nowadays in order to keep up with, I mean, my hair's new needs. One is not better than the other, they're just different. Which means, yeah, my hair might look a little different. Do you think it looks a little different on this side with the salt spray compared to this side? I mean, if you, if you look here, I think I see a little bit of a difference. Because my hair is more healthy, it has more weight to it, the curls look more chunky, and they're also a little bit more heavy. These are some of the reasons why my hair looks a little bit different from before, and that's okay. And therefore, long story short, there's just products that I don't really need to use anymore. Actually, if you are curious as to what products I don't use anymore for a multitude of reasons, then let me know and maybe we can make that next week's video. I feel like uh, a weight has been lifted off of my chest, you know? Now that we've talked about some of these changes, what's been going on with me, but enough of that nonsense. I feel like I've just been rambling. I wanna thank you for helping us reach 700,000 subscribers. If you are subscribed to this channel, and if you're not, please, please do. I can't express enough how much of a difference it makes for our channel. It's so exciting that you guys love our videos. Why am I getting emotional? Stop it. It's really everything. We're so excited to continue growing. We're so excited to share our new website with you so that there's another place that you can find helpful tips and tricks. If you're not also following me on Instagram or on TikTok, you can find me there as well. The links to all of these things will be in the description box below. And as for you and I, I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. Hey Siri. Q David Bowie changes. Ch -ch changes. I need I need a dramatic window moment. Time may change me, but I can't trace time. I guess it's time that we address the elephant in the the womb. There's no elephant in my womb. Maybe maybe some maybe some dung. There might be some dung, but not no elephant tongue, okay? I have to pee. I have to pee. Thank you, David Bowie. Time. I gotta go.